In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your own mockups within my designs. This way you can create custom mockups in bulk with multiple smart objects, variable text layers, and the ability to change the color of your product. So here's my custom mockup that I want to use. I found it on Vexels and it's a couple to match in one. So you could have a separate design on either side and we need to set this up so we can import it into my designs. And to begin with, let me explain how this works. We've got two different smart objects for the designs. So this is the first one right here for the girl. And at the bottom, we've got the design for the boy. And there's two separate color pickers. So we can change and affect the color of these t-shirts as well. So if I go into this, we change this to black, for example, and we need to rename these layers. So my designs can pick them up properly, starting with the smart objects for the designs. These need to be called MD hyphen image hyphen and then a relevant name so you can recognize it. So this one, because this is a design for the girl, I'm just going to put girl at the end and hit enter. I'll copy this and paste it down here for the boy as well and just change the bit at the end to boy instead of girl. So we've got MD image boy down there and the color pickers, we need to change those to MD hyphen color, the American spelling hyphen and then once again, a relevant bit at the end. So girl for this one. And then I'm going to say MD hyphen color hyphen boy at the bottom. So another thing you can do is add variable text. And in this case, I've added a discount badge right here. Very simple, just a red circle and a text layer on top that says 25% in order to be able to affect this in my designs in the mockup generator. We need to also rename this. In this case, you'll want to call these MD hyphen text hyphen and then I'll call this one discount. And now the only thing that's left is let's hide the Vexels watermark right here. We don't need that. Then we need to save this file. You can also hit control S on your keyboard. Just by the way, you can use a maximum of three different smart objects for these custom my design mockups and a maximum of five individual variable layers over here. And if you're wondering where I found this mockup on Vexels, I will leave a link to it directly in the description. Once you're logged into your My Designs dashboard, you will want to head over to the Assets tab on the left and click on Mockups. This is where you can find all of your custom mockups that you've uploaded. In order to upload a new one, click on Upload Mockup in the top right corner. This is where you see a brief explanation of how it works and what the rules are. Click Choose Mockup and then select the PSD file that you just saved. That is now going to import into my designs. You can give it a custom name up here. You can still rename these different layers if you want to. And you can also change the category up here, considering that you can also do this for wall art, for mugs, stickers, etc. And then once you're done, hit upload mockup. And there we go. We can now find it in this custom list. The next thing you'll have to do is create a new folder within my designs and then add all of your designs to it. In this case, the way I've set this up is I've got two separate file slots. The first one holds all of the designs that the girl is going to wear. And the second one holds all of the designs for the guy. And if you're wondering how to set this up, you can head over to the templates section. And this is where you can add new file slots, give them a name, click on the plus symbol, or you can rename existing file slots. So it's easier to organize your listings. Another thing to note, I've also added in the keywords section right here, a discount keyword. So this all says 20% for these listings. I guess I could alternate it for one of them just to show you the example. Um, and this is just to show you that it's possible to affect the text in the mockups as well. So once you're done, select all of your listings, then click on the mockup generator. And then you'll want to change this from public mockups to custom mockups. And now I'll choose my couples one right here that I uploaded. And this is where we have to configure some settings. So first of all, the input file slots for the designs, obviously the one that says girl should hold the girl design. The one that's called boy should hold the boy design. Then for the discount section right here, I'm going to choose my configured discount keyword. And the color over here is going to be the text color. So I'm going to change that to white. And now the last thing is the color of the t shirt So this is the t-shirt color for the girl. I'm going to change that to a, a light blue, perhaps in this example. And the bottom one is for the boy. So let's just make that white. And let's go ahead and generate a preview for this first mock-up. 
there we go i think that looks pretty cool we've got the 20 percent right here instead of the 25 that we had in the psd file the t-shirt colors have been changed and we've got the correct designs as well really cool so let's go ahead and click generate mockups right here confirm this action and now it's going to do this job for all four at once a few moments later so here we go the mockers have finished generating as you can see this one says 30 percent as we had a different keyword right there in the listing and in order to download these you can head over to all actions click download as zip and just select the mock-up file slot in this case and then click download zip down here and there we go now we can look at them at a large scale it definitely turned out really really cool and it shows what's possible with my designs you can do this with up to 120 mock-ups at once and you can do this with all sorts of different Photoshop effects. So that is definitely a super powerful feature that can help you generate amazing high quality mockups in no time. If you want to learn how to create thousands of listings per hour, then make sure to check out this video next where I show you how to do it using my designs.